Hey hey, I'm Anna, Ableton Certified Trainer here. To celebrate the release of Live 11, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial about take lanes and comping in live and show you how you can take the most out of this new feature to comp some vocals and any recording really and use it in a more creative way and on MIDI as well. So let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is loop up the section where I'm intended to sing, and then we can right click, control click, and choose show take lane, and we're ready to go. I came here for just this. Oh. You reminded me I had a heart cause it's breaking. So as we can see that as soon as the loop finishes, then the new recording gets added to a new take lane. This will enable us later to comp the preferred take and pick the best part of each of these recordings. Let's finish up this last take and then we can stop the recording. So if we wanted to record through these takes, then we got these audition buttons here in the corner and we can just roll through them. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these takes according to the kind of the quality of the recording. And then what I'm also going to do once I'm finished with that is recolor the clips just to kind of have it easier on the eye um, and see better which parts are making up this main comp at the top. So now we are ready to pick the parts what we prefer. Um, so there are multiple ways to get that done. The first one is we can select a portion of audio from a take and hit enter and that will move it up to the main take automatically. The second one that we can enable the Pansier tool by pressing B. And once we start painting with the Pansier tool, that painted area will move up to the main comp automatically. And then the third one is to select the audio on the top and then cycle through the takes by pressing command and up and down arrow. So once we pick the best parts, we are pretty much done. So now we can go ahead and delete any unwanted audio, um, silent passes in between phrases, just to kind of tidy up the main take. So don't forget that just because you hide the take lanes, they don't get deleted. So we can hide them and show them again. Um, however, if we enable automation mode, the take lanes cannot be shown. So now we're going to take a look at some creative comping, which means we're going to create some take lanes manually and fill them up with various audio material and then create a comp out of those. So let's check it out. So if we look at the session is empty right now. So what I'm going to do is pull in some drum breaks. And this is also the time when we're going to have to create some take lanes manually. So if we right click, control click on the track, then we can see that the show take lanes option is enabled, but we need some new ones as well. So we can use the shortcut of shift option T, or we can just click on the option insert take lane. And we're going to use the shortcut to create a couple of more empty take lanes. Once that's done, we can pull in some more drum breaks from the browser.
Excellent. So let's just quickly go ahead and trim these clips back a bit. And also I'd like to recolor the clips so it will make the comp borders a bit more obvious and we will be able to see the result a bit better. There we go, so the coloring is done, so we can get started. So I'm gonna enable the pencil tool again by pressing B, and we can just go ahead and select all the sections of the take lanes that we would like to keep in the main take on the top. So let's just do this quite randomly, see what we can come up with. Let's just make this a bit mental. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at another example where we already have the main kick and snare, the main driving elements of the drum, and we're gonna use comping to create some glitchy top loop out of various glitchy top loops. So let's get creative. Okay, so here is a session. Um, this is what it sounds like now. There is like the initial drums. And then I've got these loops here. So let's just comp them together on the top of the main drums. And let's carry on the comp. There we go. Let's check out with some music. Let's just quickly take a look at some MIDI comping as well. Okay, so we've got some chords here in the take lanes. The first chord is always a minor, but the rest of them are changing. So let's just comp them and carry on on the top of the work that we've done before and carry on with this piece. So this is what the first take is. Let's check out the rest. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to enable the Pencil tool again by pressing B, and we're going to keep the first chord, which is A minor, um, and then choose the other ones. I quite like this seventh chord, and then let's pick this one as well, and then this suspended one. Let's check out the result. In the same way, we can hide the take lanes with MIDI as well, and we can enable them again. We can insert another take lane if we wanted to have another progression in there and get a bit more creative. So there we go. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got inspired and have fun with Live 11. See you next time. <laughs>